got to get used to this recording stuff. I just recorded this whole video. I hit record on the screen. And for some weird reason, it stopped after three seconds. I don't know why. But anyway, guys, three of you might have noticed that there was no videos last week. And I'm still trying to get this whole schedule thing down. You, you know, it, it, I, I got so much going on. I'm just so busy right now with work, with family, with just, you know, everything that um, it's really, really hard. And uh, last week, it was just no. I, I just It seemed like every time I tried to sit down and record, I, I couldn't. Something came up. So... I stopped trying, um, and and you you've also I'm sure you've noticed that that Mondays are particularly difficult because see typically I record the night before and I release it to 8 a.m. the next day and that means I have to record on Sunday and I'll be honest Sundays lately have just been horrible but anyway let's just jump into the news that's that's why we're here right that's why everybody's here to watch news not to hear me talk about my trials and tribulations and my uh, personal affairs of what I do around here so let's jump into the news and I'm gonna start off today I'm gonna tell you guys right now you're gonna want to watch to the end I promise you we have so many conversation provoking and thought provoking things to talk about today just a, a, amazing stories we're not gonna deep dive into really any of them we might save that for another video or live stream we'll get into that when we get there but you're gonna want to stay till the end on this one and since I'm trying to keep my videos to five or ten minutes that shouldn't be very hard we're gonna start off in Queensland Australia though where I don't much care about this news story but apparently this woman had the life scared out of her when she found a large python curled up on the windshield of her car and I, I got to thinking about it I thought you are so lucky how awesome would it be I gotta go out and scrape ice off my window of my car. How awesome would it be to have to go scrape a python off the window of your car before you go to work? That would just be so amazing. I want everybody to leave a comment down below right now and let me know how awesome you think it would be to have to extricate a python from your car before you can go to work. I, I mean, I guess if you have to live with it every day, I could see where it can be a little aggravating, but nonetheless, I think it'd be pretty cool. And now we're gonna move on to the city of Welland. So apparently after some instant death or whatever it happened, uh, sorry for it happened, but whatever happened, um, they, the police were investigating and they ended up having to call specialists to a house where they found multiple exotic reptiles, including a venomous cobra. And the city of Welland would like to let everybody know that in the city of Welland, you are not allowed to have cobras. Welland sucks. Um, but y y they also mentioned in several jurisdictions around them, you're not allowed to have cobras or, or venomous snakes at all. So um, it brought up something really interesting. So so law aside, let's just set law aside for a minute and not talk about law. And let's talk about what we, I don't know, it's hard to put into words sometimes. So I might not be here tomorrow. You might not be here tomorrow. I hope we're all here tomorrow. That would be amazing. But we might not be here tomorrow. So what are we leaving for our loved ones or whoever's handling our affairs to have to deal with? Is that a bunch of exotic reptiles, venomous snakes or whatever? okay, are these people trained to deal with what we're leaving them? So my biggest fear is not my pet reptiles, not my apparently extravagant exotic plant collection. Um, not, I, I, I'm scared to death of leaving my family in debt. More so debt that would be impossible to repay without my income. You know, I, it scares me to death to do that. So I've been working for years to try to reduce that. I'm so happy to say that now we're 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 good. You, you know, but it just it brings up a lot of thought, and I think we can have a conversation for hours on this. On what exactly are we leaving our loved ones to deal with, and are they capable of dealing with it? But like I said, we're going to leave that for a future live stream. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested. Maybe we can have some guests on or something, and we could talk about it. Maybe some guests with some larger collections and and just kind of discuss what kind of plans they make for stuff like that because it really should be in the plan somewhere and next we're going to move into another thought-provoking story this one about the american well not about the american alligators about all reptiles really so they're saying that climate change could mess up the sex ratio in american alligators and other reptiles and i never really thought about this but i, I really got to thinking and i thought wow i so global warming, okay, so we'll throw some numbers out there, and, and don't quote me on these numbers because I don't, it's been a long time since I've bred snakes, I, I don't remember exactly, but for example, if you don't understand for how it works, and again, don't quote me, let's say you have an incubation temperature, let's say from 85 to 95 degrees, 85 to 95, so from 80 to, 85 to 90, 
you're going to hatch out primarily males. And from 90 to 95, you're going to hatch out primarily females. Right there in the middle, right at 90, you're going to get a mixture of males and females, kind of an even ratio. So again, don't quote me on those numbers, but this kind of, you, you see how it works, how the temperature has such an impact on what sex hatches out of those eggs. And, and the more I got to thinking about it, I thought, well, yeah, if, if global warming, if, if everything's heating up and the eggs in the wild are hatching out at a higher temperature and coming out primarily female, you're going to have a population decline because you're not going to have the males to breed with the females. It's just, I, it, I guess it's science. It's the way it works. But again, this is another conversation-provoking story that we're, we're not going to deep dive into today. This is probably going to be another live stream or maybe the same one. And I'd love for you to leave a comment down below about this one, about how you'd like to tackle this sort of conversation as well. Oh my God, it stopped recording again. Why? Anyway, guys. That's going to be all your news for this Wednesday. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other, and we'll see you Friday.